What is up ladies and gents, Mike here, and today we are finishing the Let's Talk Hunter series. This episode will break down each subclass and go over their advantages and disadvantages. Now I won't include all problems that people might have with the subclasses, but I'm just going to add the ones that stood out to me. With this out of the way, let's talk. Alright guys, jumping into the Night Stalker first. One of the most supportive subclasses in the game. When using the Way of the Trapper with Deadfall Perk and Orpheus Rig Exotic Legs, it can possibly give you and your fire team unlimited supers. I also like to mention Heart of the Pack, which is Way of the Pathfinder, buffs your teammates' stats and creates more orbs. On the topic of supers, you need to learn when to use your Void Shot when wearing Orpheus Rigs. The way it works is every enemy tether grants you a little more super. So if you pop it correctly on a mob of enemies, you can instantly get your super, then in return giving your teammate super. Kind of nice. The second advantage Night Stalker has going for it is Vanishing Step. When using Vanishing Step, you become invisible for 3 to 4 seconds, which allows you to survive and revive your teammates. Also, Lockdown from the Way of the Pathfinder allows you and whomever is hit by your smoke bomb becomes invisible. Also, while we're talking about Vanishing Step, it is super nice and crucible for hiding and sneaking up on your enemies. There's nothing funner than sneaking up on a Mita multi-tool user and blasting them with a the shotgun and then turning the tide of battle for you and your team. And one last thing I want to mention that I don't hear a lot of people talk about, Night Stalker is great for resource farming. Keen Scout allows you to see chests and resource points on the radar. It makes farming planet engrams and challenges easier to accomplish. Now you could always use a scout report for the corresponding planet but who wants to spend that glimmer when you're trying to buy mods? All right, jumping into what the Night Stalker is lacking. First up, low damage super. Your super is amazing at what it does when you have teammates. Hunter being the lone guardian, this subclass lacks solo power. The true power of the Night Stalker is also locked behind the exotic legs or fierce rigs. In the Crucible, your super does not guarantee a kill and the initial hit causes minimal damage. And last but not least, our abilities. Hunter's abilities aren't really that good. Yes, they can instantly reload, they can turn you invisible, but compared to the other classes, it feels useless. Marksman Dodge does auto-reload your currently drawn weapon, but you don't bring a Hunter into a raid because the team must have that ability. PvP, on the other hand, it's rather nice to hide and sneak up on enemies. Up next, we talk about the least used subclass for the Hunter in PvE, and that's the Gunslinger. Now, where Night Saga lacks in damage, what Super Gunslinger makes up for it. I've seen upwards of 40k precision shots on Kallus, and I've heard of even higher. When paired with the Celestial Nighthawk, your exotic helm, if you're not wearing a Nighthawk, you can get 3 shots of massive damage, but keep in mind, it's easier to get 1 precision shot than 3. Practice Makes Perfect is a great skill that increases your super cooldown with each consecutive precision shot up to three stacks at a given time. Now this is nice, but not the most amazing skill ever. It does make your precision shot feel more beneficial other than more damage, and you will notice a reduced cooldown on your super. Now some will disagree with me, but Knife Melee is so fulfilling. Does really nice damage when precision hits the land, and when paired with knife juggler and some practice, you can chain knife kills rather easily. I also like to mention the explosive knife from the outlaw tree, which gives your knife throw a little explosive punch, which you can use in PvP for some nasty results. On to the disadvantages. This might just be me, but they're kind of crap. Trip mine is so situational and you have to throw the grenade in a way to make sure it lands on the side of the wall or ceiling. So the blast hits the enemy. Now if you throw it at their feet it does minimal damage. Swarm grenade just doesn't do enough damage to a group. But if thrown with two targets or less it does its job. Incinerary is okay and it feels like it doesn't do enough damage to actually feel like a grenade. Single tree viability. This is probably the most disappointing part of the gunslinger subclass. But what I mean is way of the outlaw is trash for the most part. Explosive knife is really good. And Deadshot is amazing in PvP, but the Chain of Woe is lackluster, and 6 shooters kind of pointless. 6 shots sounds good, 
But I'm a shot timer that's too short and in crucible where there's four opponents to kill. That's trash. <laughs> but some of you guys might be saying, hey Mike, what if I miss a shot? Guys, dead shot significantly improves your ability to hit with the golden gun, meaning aim in a general direction and boom, you have a kill. The sad thing is, is in order to make this tree viable, you have to completely skip out the final perk of the actual tree. Meaning, if you have spent the point on the perk, you can't fucking do anything about it. Now, this is sad because this is my point of view, and this is why I don't use Gunslinger in the Crucible. Unfortunately, on the way of the Outlaw, I bought the perk Six Shooter. So I have to go back and remake my Hunter to actually use the Outlaw without the final perk. Not happening. Up next, everyone's favorite, the Arc Strider. Now, the first advantage I want to bring up might just be me, but it is the most fun. Out of all the subclasses, this one feels and plays amazing. And I'll be the first one to admit, I actually play Night Stalker most of the time. But Arc Strider is the up and close personal subclass of the Hunter. You feel powerful and elusive with this subclass. To its combos, to its super, you will find yourself having a blast. Which Arc Strider having a few problems itself, I feel most people will enjoy the subclass the most. Now these grenades aren't as good as some of the other classes, but out of the Hunter class, Arc Bolt Grenades are king. They're the closest thing we can get to Titan's Arc Grenades, and when you pair them with the Lucky Raspberry, the exotic chest, which gives you a chance to instantly recharge your grenade energy on damage when using Arc Grenades. So it can lead to complete destruction of all who stands before you, sometimes. With combat meditation perk in the way of the wind, grenades recharge drastically faster when critically wounded. With this perk and some practice, it can be more of a fun risk reward playstyle than the Arc Shutter already is, if you choose so. And final reason Arc Shutter is awesome, the Wombo Combo. The ability to chain your hunter's dodge to increase your range of damage of your melee to actually killing them with your melee to refresh your dodge, which becomes an addictive playstyle if you're into the up and close personal combat. Pair this with an SMG of your choice and you become a force to be reckoned with. To the disadvantages. First one up, end game. When you get into Nightfall and Raids, Arc Strider loses its muster for the general population of players. What I mean is, only people who master the art of melee and up and close combat can truly destroy in the endgame. You can possibly die rather quickly, so knowing when to get hyper aggressive and when not to is the true difficulty of this subclass. Last and the biggest disadvantage for the Arc Strider is your Arc Staff's too short. Besides the terrible pun I just made, Arc Staff Super has little to no range, but it is a true ad killer. You can clear a whole room of ads rather quickly. And to be honest, it isn't all that bad, but your super being melee range hinders you against bosses that have one shot or nearly one shot stomps, AOEs, etc. Your super does have a little range when R2 or right trigger is used, but it just feels like it's not enough. We went through all the subclasses of the hunter, so here's a quick recap. Night Stalker is a support subclass, unlimited supers when paired with Orpheus Rigs. Your Gunslinger is a solo damage and high damage super. Arc Strider is your mob killer that can lock down regular strike bosses. So which subclass is the best is a hard question to answer. My suggestion to you is to choose one that fits your playstyle. Once you hit 305 light, it becomes much easier to get multiple sets of armor that you can tailor for each specific subclass to supplement your fire team. But most importantly, choose the subclass that fits your playstyle. So I hope this helps everyone understand the hunter. And if it did, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you want to keep up to date with my uploads. And I'll talk to you ladies and gents next time. Peace out.